Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all doing really well. Alhamdulillah, I'm very well, thank you. So welcome to this week's vlog. It's Tuesday, it's the afternoon, it's about one o'clock. Today we're going to do a thorough clean of the kitchen. It's a real tip, like I do on top cleaning, which means I we clean the work surfaces, the sink, the table and the floor. But I haven't done a proper deep clean in ages. The cooker's a mess, the oven's a mess. I bought some cleaning products from Pound Stretcher that I showed in my Pound Stretcher haul. Lots of uh, the pink stuff, stuff. And I got some elbow grease today. I got another pink stuff item I'll show you. And I'm hoping to get stuck in and get some cleaning done, inshallah, if the kids let me. Ayubi's awake right now. I can't do things when he's awake. I can do a little bit, but not much. Harun was a bit unsettled this morning, so I've just been looking after him and he's only just gone to sleep properly. So I hope he gives me like at least an hour to do a bit of cleaning. But it also depends on Ayub. So I'm just going to take my time. If I, if I can't get much done this afternoon, I'll try this evening, maybe tomorrow. But this week's plan is to get the kitchen looking brand spanking new. That's the plan. <laughs> so what I'll do now while Ayub's awake, I'll put some of the pink stuff, I think, the paste, in the oven. First I'll show you what the oven's looking like and let's try out these products. Let's, let's see if they live up to the hype. Let's see if they work their magic. And my oven and cooker is a good test for them because it's an actual mess. Like actual bent on grease, um, grime that's not been cleaned for years and months. So here's some of the cleaning stuff I'll be using. Lots of the pink stuff items. So I think I'll put this paste in the oven and I'll probably use this spray for maybe on top. I've got this one as well, which is a cream cleaner, similar to Sif, I think. Elbow grease, I heard a lot about that. And a few viewers mentioned on my pound stretcher haul that this is really good, so I thought I'd better try it out. This Dettol I mentioned in my Sunday evening routine smells lovely. So what I've done, I've put like a cap full in this spray bottle with some water. And I'll use this to clean the work surfaces and to leave a really nice smell. This spray bottle is from B&M. I got two of these. I think they're a pound each. It's got a nice nozzle on the end which sprays very satisfyingly. Would you like to see? It's a bit squeaky there, but yeah, you get me. <laughs> and let's have a look inside my oven. I'm embarrassed, but not that much because this is real life. I've got six kids. I might look like I've got it together, but in all honesty, I've not. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's so beautiful in here. Ayub's coming to have a look because he's amazed as well. Is it clean in there, Dali? Is it clean or a bit dirty? Very dirty? So yeah, I'll take these out. Pop them on the floor for now because they're going to be cleaned anyway. Take these out. There's a lot of dirt in there. Yuck, sorry guys. This is the real me. I pretend to be an angel. No, I, I don't really. And this is the door, the oven door. So I can take this glass insert out. I'll put the pink stuff paste in take here now. Take it out. I'm going to take it out, darling. Don't you worry. So here's my pink stuff, looking nice and pink. 
Um, the kids have been looking at that and saying it looks like ice cream and they want to eat it. <laughs> and I think I use this sponge, not for the scrubbing action, just because it looks like it's easy to apply the paste using this. So I'm just going to go for it really. <laughs> might even use my hands actually because if I keep using the sponge, well not my hands, my glove. It's going to spread the dirt back in the tub. A generous amount because Hada. It's, this is um Hada. the pink stuff darling look how dirty the oven is have you seen it is it yucky yucky it's yucky in the e yucky I'm, clean it. I'm trying my best to clean it baby yeah this messy is, clean it. yeah it's very messy <laughs> you should help me see this is why mommy always says come on are you clean it. yeah this is why mommy says are you come on let's rest so mommy can get on with something uh, clean it clean it clean it it's yucky <laughs> Dirty. It's dirty, 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 very dirty baby. Oh, there's some real burnt on food here. I don't know how that's going to come off. Maybe I'll have to scrape it with something. Okay, you know what? I think I'll leave that for a little while while I try and get um, Ayub to sleep. Yeah? It doesn't, it doesn't smell too bad, does it as well? Which is good. That's what the tub is looking like. It's not too, too dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot about the grill. We don't use this as often. But I do make me cheese toasties in there. So I spread some pink stuff in here too. I can't feel that much burnt on grease and food in here, which is good. So I'm going to have a look at the oven again. Uh, the pink stuff has been on for maybe two hours. Not for a particular reason, I just didn't get a chance to look at it. So, it's probably all dried up by now. Looks beautiful. So I'm going to try and clean it off and see if it's done anything. So I put some hot water in here, I've got the sponge uh, that I had in the oven. If you saw the way I cleaned it with the sponge, I didn't really scrub, I just kind of wiped. It's really, really disgusting in here, look at that. So let's analyse so far what we've got. You can't tell probably in the video. It's definitely taken some dirt off. This big burnt on food patch, I think it's gone down a bit, but it's definitely still there. So. I'm gonna give it another wipe and then I think I might try some of that um, elbow grease spray. See if that helps to lift some of this off. But it's done a good basic clean. So let's see if the elbow grease has done anything. It's definitely taking something off. I can feel that it's kind of coming off here. Is it just deceiving me? So it's the next morning and I just wanted to show you my progress. So I've got two oven racks here. I think you can tell which one's clean. This one's been cleaned and this one's still really disgusting. So I tried loads of different things last night. I've seen which is quickest and it took me i think about half an hour to clean this oven rack so it wasn't quick and i'll tell you my tools of choice so i'm gonna clean this one this morning inshallah when i get a minute either this spray so the elbow grease or the pink stuff spray i found it's useful to spray that on the oven rack give it a few minutes and then this is essential like this made my job a lot faster so the steel kind of metal scrubber thing you can get like a pack of eight i think from poundland or your supermarket or whatever so i'm going to take it over to the sink i think i'll use the elbow grease it just helps to lift the grease off a little bit 
and makes the scrubbing that little bit easier but even with just this and some soap and water you could get the grease and stuff off so yeah last night about midnight i was cleaning this thing which was fun and i thought i'm tired that's it i'm done so i'll carry on uh, this morning and hopefully get the cooker and oven cleaned because we need to use it and it looks messy also last night i sprayed some more elbow grease in the oven and then i boiled some water poured a bit at the bottom to help loosen any stuck on uh, food you can see like a green puddle in the center there hopefully i'll be able to scrub off anything stubborn today oven racks are cleaned thank god for that worst job ever well not really but it wasn't fun and i always tell myself i'm not gonna let them get like that again but i do so i'm gonna try and clean them at least every month even more often than that because i don't want to do that again <laughs> so now i'm gonna try and clean the glass inserts so this is the one for the grill the one for the oven is a bit bigger this should be straightforward i don't really struggle to clean these when i wash it in the bath I think I use some of the pink stuff paste. I'll have to clean both sides because both sides get really dirty and greasy. So yeah, I'll just kind of scrub that all over. And then I might use a sponge or a microfiber cloth to kind of wipe it off. When I usually clean them, I'd uh, soak these in the bath in some bicarbonate of soda, so baking soda, lemon juice, I think it is, or vinegar in some water and leave that soaking for a few hours at least. I do that with the glass inserts and the oven racks and they come out okay but let's see um, if this pink paste helps to get them cleaned. So I wash the microfiber cloth in some hot water so it's a little bit damp which I'm hoping helps. can't tell when I'm cleaning this if it's actually cleaning it because the other side so let me clean the other side at the same time I might scrub it with the metal scrubber a little bit lightly gently because obviously I don't want to scratch the glass and that's my alert and that's baby waking up I'm coming baby actually it's coming up all right you know Let me see. okay I better go get baby and I'll carry on with this after. A bit of a harder scrub yet, it's coming off. So I don't think I'll need to use the metal scrubber thing. Yeah, nice, very nice. Mashallah. It's nice to see through the glass. Okay. And off I go to get baby. <laughs> So it's four o'clock now, the kids are back from school, the cook is clean. I'm laughing because I used just repeating mum ten times. Yes, darling. Yes. I've got some lamb curry defrosting here from my meal prep. So I'll show you what I did. These last two days that I've spent uh, cleaning the oven and the cooker have been the most boring days of my life. <laughs> it's really, really not a fun job at all. So if anyone does it for a living, my hat goes off to you, my hijab does. Not that I took a full two days, because I've got kids and I have to do it in little segments, but the bits that I spent on it weren't fun. But anyway, I kind of gave up after a while and I was like, I can't do this anymore and kind of rushed the cleaning at the end. But the cooker top looks nice and clean, mashallah. So I sprayed some mold spray. I sprayed this mold spray behind the cooker 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely cleaner than it was. Like, I, I don't know, I think I sprayed it here, but maybe I didn't, but that bit looks a bit cleaner. I cleaned the cooker top, uh, all the gas thingy, whatever you call them, hobs, and this bit here. <laughs> it looks nice and white and clean. I cleaned the front of it, and um, these, the markings have come off it. They came off it ages ago, but I kind of know what the numbers were. So that's fine. We probably need to buy a new cooker soon anyway, but it's fine. And then I cleaned the inside. So that's the grill part and the tray. And I don't know if you can tell, but that's quite nice and clean in there. And this is what the inside of the oven looks like, which is not too bad. Look at the oven racks shining, glistening. <laughs> they were the most fun part, as I told you earlier. As you can see, there's still some dirt at the bottom, but it's not too bad. Like, I'm happy with it. Hopefully, inshallah, I'll try and keep on top of it because I'll regret it if I don't. But um, I'm so happy that that's done. Now I'm just in the middle of some washing up. And as you can see, it's a mess around the sink area because it's been a bit crazy because the oven and the cooker were being cleaned yesterday. So I wasn't able to do some of the washing. And yeah, I just want to clear up all around here. I'm gonna clear all of that windowsill. I'm gonna spray the mold spray on the sink top. It cleans it really nicely. So I'm gonna clean it all up, wash what's there, and then give it a good spray. So I want to keep this space clear next to the sink. So, so I've moved the coffee maker thing up onto the windowsill. I bought this from B&M a while ago. We put one in the bathroom. So I bought another one for the kitchen and it was two pounds. And I thought I'd buy this. We've got one upstairs in our bathroom as well, a white one. I thought I'd buy this one for the kitchen in pink for washing up liquid. So these were two pound each. 